Hello and welcome to Pharma Simon 19. This is the mod review number five and it's Saturday the 28th. So these are mods that have come out this week. So in front of me is um, three tractors and we've actually got uh, one truck. We've actually got one, two, three, four, five, five trailers. There's a lot more trailers there, but there's five there because I've done uh, a mixture, you can see. And then we've got one um, silo, which is multiple silos. So first of all, we will start with the, let's drop down to the ground. We will start off with this, this second New Holland. This is the New Holland TM series, uh, which is a medium tractor. It, the author is Pepe978 and the size is 1742 meg. And what we've got is a medium range, a medium to high range open field tractor, the TM2002 series with a T120, T130, T140 and a T155 model. Price is 94,000 horsepower from 120 to 155 and the horsepower goes respective to the uh, model number so as you see here i've put one with the front link i've got doubles around um and i've got the tm155 engine in it so what we'll do we'll quickly jump into the shop and we know this is in the this is medium to high, so I can't remember if one's in the medium. Yeah, it's in the medium. So here we go. 94,000 TM series. Um, go to customize. So here we go. That's the basic tractor. It's there, 94,000. So colors. We've got New Holland blue and New Holland red. So no, nothing too fancy. But if you go to the red, it's going to cost you an extra 1500 so let's do all the max max mods and we go from there so configuration is standard then you've got 700 kilogram front weight you see there front linkage so weight is 600 front linkage 1500 and then you're back to standard so we'll go with the front weight wheel brands you've got trelleborg michelin and they're the two. So Trelleborg, you've got standard, wide tyres, narrow tyres, crop tyres basically, uh, twin narrows on the back, twin rears, twins all round, and then back to standard. When you go to Michelin, you just got commonal or yeah, commonal, and that's it. So if we go back to Trelleborg, Twins all round, that's an extra 6,000. Then design, you've got uh, New Holland 2002 or New Holland Restyle, which gives you the one that I had on there, which is 500. So but if you go New Holland 2002, which is the older um, one, it's uh, nothing. So we'll put the new one on there. So then engines, you got 120, which for some reason that is showing one bit. So, uh, TM120 is 124 brake, TM130 is 131, TM40 is uh, 144 brake, and uh, TM155 is 155 brake. Um, 24 mile an hour, uh, an extra 20,000. Front loader, yes or no? So if you say yes, it's an extra 1,500, which gives you a medium tractor with 155 brake horsepower for 125,000. I don't think it's too bad. It's not a bad looking tractor um really well detailed very nice um yeah all the bits are there i like the way the wheels are set up with the um clamps to keep the doubles so yeah it's done really really well so that is it in the shop let's come back out and we'll jump into it and we'll have a look around so in we get so inside all the gauges are there. Just drop that off at the back. So we'll start her up. So all the lights come on on the dash. And so let's go with main lights. All the lights come on. High beam. Seem to lose the lights off, but they're there. Uh, front work lights. Rear work lights. Let's try the indicators. Yeah, indicator. Indicator, 
has it. Yep. And beacon. Nope. So what we will do is and break off. Go forward. Pedals move. Ah, the lever on the dash goes, if you're reversing, goes back. Board goes forward. Right, so that's inside. As you see, beacon's on, the lights are on. And then lights all round. So that is basically it for the TM series. Really nice tractor. Very well made, very well nice, very, very well, very nice addition if you like New Holland. So let's back up to the trailer I was on before. We'll do that one as we're here and we've got that so let's switch up to that and pull her out so you pull this and she is fully loaded so let's pull up the information on this one uh, so we've got as you can see here Dangerville trailer pack a pack of two Dangerville trailers a two and a three axle sideboards color choice tire choice and other accessories uh, the tandem the twin axle is uh, 45,200 with a capacity of 18,000 the triple axle uh, which is 42, uh, 45, 200, same, same price. We'll check that in the shop. Uh, capacity of 30,000, 33,600, 36,500, 37,200. Uh, this is uh, manufacturer says Dangerville. Category is trailer, and the author is Nico Picks. A size is 6.60 .6 megabytes. Um, yeah, and I've got this with a full load of corn uh, at 37,200, which is a maximum amount you can have so what we will do is we'll go around the Mac and you see the brake lights work and rear lights indicators hazards but no beacons so not a problem let's have a quick look in the shop so trailers that's trailers. Now you don't choose between a, um, a tandem and a or a tridem, so double or triple, depending how you want to say. So you've got the B18T, which is the double axle. It holds all the things you want. Tip trailer used for transport in your harvest. So let's have a go inside. So that's how it comes standard. 18,000 liters. Um, colors. Basically changes not a lot on let's have a look around the back, see what changes. Doesn't seem to be changing anything in the standard configuration, but if you put maximum and then when you go that changes the colour of your sides. So Will Brands, Lizard, Trelleborg, Michelin. So Lizard, um, oh, I'm knocking, sorry. So you've got Lizard, no difference. Trelleborg, no difference. Michelin. So literally you've got four different types and it just gives you different treads. And that is the double axle, B18T. Um, let's go back and then we'll go to the B32T, which does all the same again which is the one we've got um, no right so same again triple axle color change silver nothing when it's standard format but if you 
go up so you get your maximum. Click on that, change the color of your sides. Same again, wheels. You've got your four different brands, just different treads, there's no difference. The only extra on this one is you've got without bridge and then with bridge, which gives you this here. So, but when you change the color there, I'm sure it changes the railing on the bridge as well. I oh, know it doesn't because it keeps the same color as a. It just seems weird that you would change the top ones to gray and that these wouldn't change as well and the axles. But that's 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 it. So you're looking at fully uh, with the bridge and uh, maximum capacity. No difference in whether you change the color of the um, boards on the top, but you're looking at 48660 for the triple axle and in the double axle, if you go full, you're looking at 48200. So let's come back out. And then what we will do is I'm gonna find somewhere to dump my crop so you can see the rear door action. The ladder, fold and unfold, drops your ladder so you can have a look. So, doesn't seem to want to allow me to just to tip there, does it? Right. Right, left control and I and back doors open you can use the let's turn that off so that's the main tip but what we will do is if we go to there and then you can open them that way Very nice action. You won't want to be doing a tip anywhere where there's a roof because um, you're just going to catch. So, and I don't think it does. Yeah, and then you've got grain doors, so it'd open up and you would tip out of your grain doors as such. So, there you go. That is the Dangreville, um, basically just um, grain trailer. So, Let's, let's finish with that one so next here we go the next one is another New Holland tractor but we have a difference in this this is the New Holland 70 series and the manufacturer is New Holland uh, Gen Genesis 70 series uh, 1993 to 2002 production year standard engine is a Ford 456CI which you can see on the side there we have Ford so another Ford but another uh, New Holland um, transmission 4 power shift maximum speed 40 kilometers price is 205,000 power from 170 to 240 so that's a nice size upgrade is wheel brand wheels body color rim color exhaust co uh, cover color frame attacher um, configuration shop category large tractor so this comes as large tractor so you got on here uh, manufacturer New Holland category large tractor author is uh, Smitty and the size is 17.58 megabytes so this is very similar to the one we just looked at but there are some differences so let's go into the shop and we'll have a look at this one this is in large tractors right to the end there we go so the standard tractor as you can see comes has a new holland 8670 and it's got a standard Ford 170 Genesis engine. Um, let's, uh, which gives you 170 brake horsepower. So you've got three color customizations. So main color. So you've got New Holland blue, Fiat Agri red, black, and white. So let's go with black. Actually, no, what we'll do, we'll go with white because then that will highlight other bits. So rim color, you have white, black, 
and chrome. So go chrome part, and it's like a black chrome. Um, compared to the black, it's like a gloss, nice shiny gloss black. Um, but let's go black chrome. And then color design. If we come round to the exhaust, let's see if we can get. You want to see this cover here? Is it black at the moment? Chrome exhaust grill. You see it's slightly shinier. So let's do that. So that's your maximum on your colors and then so now 80,000 for the colors or 8,000 for the colors uh, for uh, the if you go to white and the room colors is 8,000 if you go to the chrome the black chrome and then a thousand for the chrome exhaust so tires Trulleborg standard wide doubles on the rear doubles all round narrows narrow rears on the back narrows all round which is what you see I had and then back to standard. So then if we go to Michelin, you got standard, white, doubles on the back, doubles on the front, back to standard. Then knocking, commonal, and that's it. And then back to Trelleborg. So let's put those, um, I think, Trelleborg. Yeah, so you got 6,004. Those 8,000, right there you go. So the dearest is a Michelin, doubles around the slightly more chunky, I think. Um, but yeah, so then design you have New Holland 8670, you have Ford 8670, Fiat Agri G170, you got New Holland G170 Fiat Agri, then you got New Holland 8670 Ford, and then back to New Holland. So Attaches you have standard 1600 weight because it's a large tractor, it will be bigger than the other one. And then you've got front attacher, so front attacher is 5000, the weight is 2000. So we'll leave the front attacher because it's better standard. The badge design, it doesn't matter what badge you have, it is the same price. So, so far we've done that, and then you've got the Ford 170 Genesis Turbo for 4200 or if you go to the Ford the Ford and the 190 Genesis Turbo is 8500 or you got the Ford 210 Genesis Turbo 15300 and then the Ford 240 Genesis Turbo which is 25500 back to the standard so if we go to the beach one you're looking full whack the whole lot is 280,700 for a 240 horsepower tractor. So, say 219,000. So, let's find another 240 horsepower tractor. Oh, the cheapest is that one, it's 238. So, you're still saving yourself 20,000, which ain't bad. It ain't bad, and you've you're fully kitted out with everything. So anyway, let's jump in the tractor and have a drive. I put the twin um, twin uh, blah, 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 crop tires on there. Um, did you see that the steering wheel comes down? So let's turn her on. There we go. All the dash lights up. All comes on. Turn the lights on. It lights up. The lights are there. High beam. I don't think. No, there's no high beam light. So work lights front, which the lights come on the front there, and the little tractor, and work lights rear, they come on the tractor there. Beacon. There is nothing, I think, that lights up for the beacon. Nope. And then let's go indicators. Left indicator there, right indicator there, you've got the double there, and then if we do four ways, and they all come on, I'm quite surprised there's not a beacon one then, but anyway, that's nice, and that's, uh, oh, and a normal horn, so let's drop the trailer we've got on at the moment, Jump outside and, and break off and take a, a run. 
So, at the front you can see high lights are on, the high beam, and then we have front working lights with ones down at the side there. So you've got top, middle, and down the bottom. Then we've got crop tires on, so we can drive across the crop, and then you're going to make the difference. Rear work lights. And then your hazards. So that is the New Holland 70 series. I really like that. That's really, really nice. I like the twin crop tires. So next we will look at the trailer we were just hitched up to. Turn the beacon off. Right, let's pull this one out so you can have a look at this one. Okay, this I cannot say the name, but it's the PIM 40. So this is trailer PIM 40 trailer for crush mass. So this is designed to transport silage hay and um Hey, Lidge, or whatever it is, it's just written in there. This is an aggregate wheel trailer of class 2 and 3 TS. Price is 7,400, capacity is 42,000 to, uh, to 28,000. So it's just 28,000 to 42,000, depending on how you have it. Um, colors, uh, configurations, color trailer, ribbons, rim, decal, design removable flap. I'll show you that when you get it. So manufacturer is Agro Mesh, and its uh, author is FS. FSS A modding team and the size is 16.17 megabytes and uh, yeah that's the trailer let's go into the shop and have a look so this will be under normal trailers and you would have seen it before it's here so they've got it down as agro mesh because I there's no way I could say that that's probably agro mesh in that hopefully in that language um, wherever it's from so it will pop up in a minute it's a little bit slow he says not that one in there right here we go the PIM 40 so quite a chunky wide stubby trailer really um, it pivots on the axles there by the looks of it um, quite nice the way the brake lines are all in there and everything so anyway ribbon color let's change that first so you got red green or black so let's go to green see where that comes up so rim color sorry rim color no i got rim from or ribbon <laughs> there that's where i was getting it so color ribbon so there you've got red yellow green and black so let's go yellow so we can see that so the ribbon color gives you this plate here this panel here and it looks like your drive shafts so this yeah all your drive shafts and your covers so you cover at the front there drive shaft there across the side that cover at the side next to it. so all your mechanism under there is and your chains inside so really you could go that color and that would all be nice so then main color which should be our body there we go green so let's change that to red so we can see the difference and then color of the labels you've got cream or yellow so to yellow there you go that's it so with this change all these to the top colors yeah i think the rim colors don't actually make much difference to price the rest they are as they are so 50 for ribbon colors is all your running gear main color is 150 and the labels is five for your change so configuration that is a maximum at 42,000 if you go to 28,000 it drops the sides off and yeah I don't know why you would do that because there's no difference in the price so design standard or remove flaps what it does it takes the flaps off the side of the mechanism there 
and it takes off the flap that goes over the top of the PTO at the front, which costs you nothing. So you would leave them on. So full whack, you're looking at 7,605 because you've only got 205 added on. If you add them on, if you go back to as it was, it's 7,400. So that is the PIM 40. So let's go back and we'll see the tipping action of this one. So let's take a round. I'm going to drop her where the other one did. Um, try and keep all the mess of them on, but oh, actually, we won't. We'll do it here. We'll see how we go. So these are wood chips. So unload here. Left control I. The back end opens up. You got to be stopped to unload by the looks of it. Well, you can't be driving fast, so you can drive slowly and it unloads from the front backwards because of the belts. But that is a PIM 40, which holds a fair old amount. That's quite. That's quite nice. You could use that for loading your um, for making silage. That is very easy to control at a slow rate. So uh, yeah, that is that one. So we'll move on to the next. Okay, next one is this Urus. A Urus, Urus, something. Uh, right, let's get let's get it up. So the Euros twelve twelve. Right, um, price is thirty two thousand. Power is one hundred seventy horsepower. This is in small tractors. Uh, manufacturer is Eurus. Small tractors. Author is Kaz ten eighteen. The size is eleven point zero eight meg. So there's not really a lot to this. This is a European tractor. I think it, it's sort of of the eastern block countries probably Russia Poland that sort of thing um, yeah so let's jump in the shop and have a look and uh, this is under small tractors and here we go 32,000 let's go to customize there's not loads to customize but there's a little bit so you've got rim color so a lot of sort of basic flat colors so if you go full whack 200 changing the colors so let's uh, leave it at that one main color is 800 doesn't change whether you change color um, I think the wheel color stays the same as well is it no that actually does is free yeah but the main color is 800 ml and then design color you'll see you got black or Gray is all your engine and your running axle parts. So there you go. So those, there's a three point linkage on the back. And then if we go to configuration, you've got standard 200 kilo, which gives you this weight just underneath the front here, if you look. And then a 540 kilo, which is out the front, which is uh, 1300 and 400 for the other one. My flaps. You got standard, which is like this, and if you add the mud flaps, it gives you nice long black mud flaps. I don't know whether they move or not. We will find out because we do have them on the one we have, and then we'll set up. You got standard wheel weights, very old style wheel weights, doubles on the rear, and that's it. But standard. So uh, yeah, that's it. So if we go full whack. You're looking at 38,500. Um, the biggest is basically putting the doubles on the back. So let's go back to the tractor and jump inside and have a look. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so we're inside. It's uh, all working. Let's start her up. And the gauges moves. 
So let's go indicators. No, nothing there. Lights. Nothing. Right, so handbrake off. Pedal goes down. Right, that's it. You're quite high inside. We'll drop the trailer. Let's go for a quick spin. Let's say, yeah, not looking at max, a real high maximum speed. 22. Quite a loud tractor, but then it is old. Turns quite sharp with them small wheels. And the mud gods do sort of move. Come out and then flap back. So that's the Eurus 1212. Um, if you're running uh, like a European map, um, you want to run old small equipment or uh, not a bad little tractor. So let's hitch it back up to the trailer. And we will have a look at the trailer. <coughs> now, this just happens to be on a Eurus trailer. Um, that was quite fitting. Didn't mean to do it that way. It just happened to be the way I connected them up. So you got the Eurus N270. Worked in width is uh, one meter. Price is 31,000. Required power is 150 horsepower, and their maximum work speed is 20 mile an hour. Trailer configuration is up to 5,000 watt capacity. Manure spreader, 15,500, and the trailer of 25,500. I'll show you that inside. Configuration, manure spreader or trailer, Trulleborg, Michelin, and knocking tires. So, manufacturer, Eurus. Um, category, manure spreader. Author is MAT26, and the size is 5.06 megabyte. Um, so let's jump in the shop and have a look at this one. So trailers, and then we go to manure spreaders, and it's down here at the end. So the N270, 31,000, and these are what it takes. So let's jump in customization. So you can't change the colors. It is as it is. Um, so you've got configuration, manure spreader, or standard. And standard, it then doesn't become a manure spreader because if you look, it just makes it become a trailer. You take that out, you have the spreading blades at the back. When you change it to a trailer, they go, but you get raised size. So, trailer borg standard, and that's it. Michelin standard, that's it. Knock in standard, that's it. And then back to trailer borg. So if we go back to manure spreader, you got trailer box standard, Michelin standard, and knocking standard. So literally the only difference is when you go to a standard trailer, it's an extra 5,000, but it gives you 25,500. So it just becomes a trailer, tip trailer, um, for 36. Or if you go back to manure spreader, it's 31. And that's it. So let's go and chuck a bit of manure on this field that's been harvested um, so we have to unfold the manure spreader this is really quite nice the unfold mechanism on this so let's get down close to this you know so we've got a full load of manure on now so to unfold we hit x and as that pulls up the panel it lifts up the back hatch so then we turn on the manure spreader which that's spreading manure nicely and works with a hard worker as well so that is the Eurus Merck spreader which then can be just a standard trailer um, not high capacity but when you have a, a hard worker it doesn't destroy the field but if you go to yourself 
you will. You do destroy the field. Got a couple of uh, cotton harvesters going there. Um, needed those because I needed some round cotton bales um, for the next one. So that is the Eurus Max Spreader. So we'll stick this back over here out of the way and then we will move on to the next one which will lead on to the other two. So let's uh, first of all get my um, this one is actually an update to um, a previous mod. So it is the SX Heavy Pack. Now you've all seen it, this is the truck there, but the new update is this one here, which I will jump in. Right, we're inside the truck, turn it on, rev counter comes on, lights, nothing, nothing, okay, it's no, so literally the gauges work, the brake and the accelerator work, so anyway, Let's jump outside. All oh, that it's the same as the other one. The only thing with this is on the tipper, you have this tipper body. So we can open up the tipper body, sides drop down, and you've got product in there. So all the normal, all your lights are working as they were before, beacons, and all the normal stuff. So let's jump into the shop I'm just going to back this back up so that's roughly where I want it for the next one let's jump in the shop uh, vehicles trucks right up the end so you've got the SX heavy IT runner which is there before the heavy SX which is your fifth wheel which is your um, tractor unit and then you've got the SX tipper so the SX tipper 620 horsepower and it's 49 now, 60,000 litres, and it holds all of this product. Um, truck can attach to a semi trainer because it has got a hitch on the back, which I'll show you. So, in the shop, you've got all your normal uh, metallic colours that there before, but you've got a hitch here. So, not only can you take 60,000 litres, you can take a trailer as well. So, you have all these colours. I'm not really over enamored by the gloss that's why you'll see most of mine are sort of general flattish colors because it looks a lot better in a I like that in the black the design color I would just do black so you'd have an all black truck I, I'm not so worried about the body on the back because it looks galvy but um, one thing uh, I'll, I'll talk about it when we get to it when we've got the trailer so Will Brands you've got Trilloborg and you've got lizard there's no changing them so basically treadable and lizard engine size you've got diesel uh, which is 500 horsepower then you go to extra power which is 875 horsepower so if you go to the extra power it's going to have 7500 and your tires make no difference on the price um, your colors if you go away from the standard colors which I think if you go full on, there you go, look, full on. 1,000 for the main color, 1,500 for design color, um, which is your stripe. And then 7,500 for the extra power, which gives you 85,000 for a tipper that can take 60,000 liters of product. So we come out of there and we go on to the trailer that is on the back of it, which I will now I'll just close those. We have, and this is, uh, I, I like this trailer. This trailer is a semi tipper 7006. So there you go. 
and as you can see I've got a dolly on the front of it and hitched it to the back so I've got 70,000 in the trailer and I've got 60,000 in the truck so I've got 130,000 litres of wheat now long trailer from the brand of BSM trailers uh, trailer price is 69,000 capacity is 70,000 litres oh, there's um, a couple of options uh, for the trailer which I'll show as in signs colours base wheels um, so you got manufacturer BSM trailers in trailer category uh, category of trailers all for that is black ship modding which he we had this in 17 so i'm glad to come to 19 because i used it i really enjoyed it. it's a very good trailer um size is 5.01 megabytes so on that let's go into the shop let's have a look at this one in the shop there's a it is a awesome trailer um i will use it so here we go, semi tipper, 70,000 6, 69,000, takes all your crop types. Um, we'll go to a dolly, and uh, yeah, so here you go. One trailer, you have rim color, and you can choose all different types of rim color. So this goes some layerish colors. So uh, 500 for changing the rim color from the standard whatever color that standard one is which is nothing so we'll go gary pink again main color which is your main tip of color which is in challenger yellow by the looks of it and go to that green let's have a let's go to there three thousand for that so it's three thousand five hundred for changing the colors there and design colors is basically the chassis underneath so that is in fent red at the moment we go to black that's three thousand we'll go back there yeah so three thousand there so let's go with that and then we'll go with ooh, something like that there we go now that's a leverage card so you've got six thousand five hundred just in colors you can't change the um top on the top so but then when you come to wheel brains you've got lizard we've got trollborg and then trollborg you've got wide tires or standards so if you're trouble wide ties 1700 so that is now seven thousand eight thousand two hundred on extras and then design so the design is on the back it's on standard at the moment then you've got with oversized load convoy exceptional or lang k lkw so long vehicle probably that would stand for so um the signs will be an extra 150 so let's go for oversized load so total if you max this out and this has got a trailer hitch on the back by the looks of it as well so you probably could um double these up 77,350 so not bad not bad at all but if we then go back to standards which if I can get it right no it needs to be the yellow doesn't it challenging yellow and then the room colors there the base trailer with no changes as is 69,000 nice trailer very very useful right, so you can double them up as we've done here the only thing that gets me is that trailer is 70,000 that tipper is 60,000 that tipper is less than half the size of that trailer so if you're playing realism the tipper's not really right the tipper should be 20,000 maybe 25 it's not as high it's not even half the length so if you were if you're looking at something realistic the the tipper is sort of really out of there um it's sort of the same size as basically the one that had the wood chips around the corner um but if you're not and you're looking for max capacity that is a really really good setup so on to our last one this last well actually we've got two but the last 
piece of equipment we have got and it's on the um, heavy Essex heavy basically um, unit you have these five trailers now these trailers are all the same trailer but they're not all the same trailer this is the Flegel flatbed is another update and basically they've updated since we've got the Heston bales these big ones here on the second trailer so you've got the first trailer there is your standard bale and you've got 12 is it 30 bales on there so that's what you had there then the second one which is the update has got the Heston bales um, which it takes 20 uh, if you look at it from the back I've got the straps on there they don't go over the top but if you unload to the trailer then hit the tra the straps they go underneath but the load becomes secure if you don't have the straps and you unload to the trailer they will come off they do become loose so with the standard bales if I don't walk into the trailer they hang over a little bit and with the Heston bales they hang over a little bit so it's the same loading uh, round bales as before and then cotton it takes two of the large cotton and five of the round um, John Deere ones and that's the Flegel flatbed semi so what we got on here is this is 28,000 this is uh, assembly a uh, uh, this is a symbol of the Flegel timber runner chassis and the DPW 210 flatbed with the following changes auto load of 34 round 30 square and for five or two cotton bales color configuration for rims trailer and flatbed and I've done them all different colors there different flatbeds different paints and everything so the, the, they're all completely different uh, selectable Flegel decals black white and red um stanchions for round bales uh which you did see on the back there you just see on the back of that john deere one there uh there's stanchion on the back which will stop the round bales coming off uh new tires lizard trillabog and michelin connectors for hoses um in the front and back trailer hitch back functions first put the trailer into a work position the bales can now be collected after collecting bring the trailer back into the transport position to unload via unload mode select unload position the unload of bales and after unloading bring the trailer back to the transport position if the bales are unloaded onto the platform they can then be moved manually um, then we've got change log handling with uh, loaded bales improved fixed collision problems and square bales at, at different positions tension um, bales um, for square and round bales added support for big bales from the mod hub heston baler added auto load for configuration um, that's on the final change and then the previous one was added auto load for cotton round and square bales adjusted position for the tension belts removed dynamic mount uh, attacher so this is a manufacturer's flegel in category trailer author is top 8888 and it's 0.70 megabytes so that is the last of the um, equipment let's go in and i'll quickly show you this this will be under bow technology for three of them which is your semi-trailer round bows semi-trailer square bows and semi-trailer square bows big um 28 000. we'll go in there 20,000 so rim color you have all of these if you change them 600 main color same again 1250 design color 500 so it's uh, completely changeable all the way around so then when it says labels it doesn't mean the side crash bars it means the back here so you've got white red and black auto load yes and no which you won't see um, attachers standard trailer put it on the back so it's 700 for that if you change color of the labels it makes no difference auto load makes no difference the trailer hitch is 700 tires you got lizard trailer borg 600 
Michelin Toss 600 and then back to Lizard. And that's it. So 600 for rims, 1250 for the main color, 500 for the deck color, which they call design. Nothing for labels, nothing for autoload. 700 for the attachers. And you, if you go with either Trellable or Michelin's, you're looking at 600. So fully up 31,650. So that's where you find those. For the other two, for the bales, you need to go into bale technology. And they're here. Um, no, not bale technology. I want cotton. Cotton technology, sorry. And they are here. So flatbed semi trailer, uh, round bales cotton, square bales cotton, 28,000 again. So customize, same customization, room color, 600, main color, 1250, design color, 500. Decals again doesn't change the side ones, but it does the back ones. No difference in the price. Auto load makes no difference. Attacher, trailer hitch, 700 and 600 if you go with the tires. So 31, 6, 650 again. Or if you go standard, it is 28. So that is the Flegel trailer. So you can't buy a trailer like you used to have before. You'd have a trailer and you could choose what it would take. This one, the trailers are dedicated. Unless you mount them, you load them, so you can just buy one and then load it how you want. You know, you go on there. And as you can see, I've loaded a selection of different square bales and a selection of different round bales just to show that it takes all the different types of bales. Um, the straps go over the top and all the rest. Um, they don't seem to go over the top on the Heston bales. But that's that. So the last one, last but not least, is this silo here. And as you see on there, it says all in one. Because this silo here is all in one. So let's go to this. If this is the placeable buy station, placeable buy station contains contains buying silos for chaff, chicken feed, fertilizer, horse feed, pig food, lime seed, TMR, grass, silage, straw, salt for seasons mod, and also contains an all in one silo with all of the field types basically above. So you can buy them all individually, or you can just buy this slightly oversized. Uh, types cost one th uh, uh, so 15,000. So manufacturer is lizard, pa um, category is in packages, and the author is McKnight G. The size is 15.49 meg. So let's go into the shop. We go to the buildings ones. We go to what well, it says packages, but go to miscellaneous, and they're all in here. So these are the ones we have before, the multi-fill ones. You've got this one here. So you've got all in one. They all look the same. But if you go to, say, the chaff one, details, and place it, I think, is that a different size? No, that was the same size. And it says chaff on it. One of them I placed was smaller. So let's go to... Perhaps it's the lime one. It might be the lime one. Let's go lime details. No, that seems to be the same as well. You turn around so you get to what you want. And boom, there you go. You've got a lime one. And in just like normal ones, you drive into the area and you fill up. So that's really it. There is no difference. They all have written on what they are. They're all 15,000. Um, even the only one. The only one does all of what the other ones do. But if you only want a certain one, you can have a certain one. Uh, the letters are slightly raised off. I don't think the ladder is any use. You can't use the ladder. Nope. So, yeah, that, for t that is it for today. They are all the mods... I'm going to cover for today. Hopefully, some of those will come in handy for you. Hopefully, um, 
you like to them. So until next time, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed them. Hopefully they're helpful. Hopefully there's something there that um, is interesting. This is giving you a bit more information into what Ganna can't do. Um, I'll probably be using a few of these in my gameplays. So until next time, thank you for watching. Um, give us a like, give us a subscribe, leave us a comment, share the video if you want to share the video, and um, click the bell if you want to catch the next one. And uh, yeah, just just there'll be a link um, at the beginning, which will do give me your old me, me, uh, previous um, mod um, videos. And or yeah, so until I can't, that's it. That that's a lot. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.